Once upon a time, in a cozy corner of the forest, there lived a curious raccoon named Ricky. Ricky was known for his incredible talent in finding the shiniest objects in the forest. From sparkling stones by the river to gleaming nuts under the moonlight, Ricky had an eye for beauty. One morning, while rummaging through the underbrush, Ricky stumbled upon Bella the bear, who was admiring a shiny leaf hanging from a tree. Ricky chuckled to himself, thinking, what does a big bear know about shiny things? But as he approached Bella, he noticed her collection of glistening leaves, dewdrops in bottles, and even a rainbow fragment captured in a crystal. Ricky was astonished. Wow, Bella, I didn't know bears like shiny things too. Bella smiled warmly. Oh, Ricky, I've always loved finding sparkles in the forest. It seems we have a lot in common. Ricky, his eyes wide with excitement, realized that Bella shared his passion. He then had an idea. Bella, do you want to go on a treasure hunt with me? I think together we could find the shiniest treasure the forest has ever seen. Bella nodded eagerly and off they went, side by side, searching high and low. They climbed rocky outcrops for crystals, dove into deep pools for shimmering stones, and even found a nest of fireflies that lit up like tiny stars. As the sun set, casting golden hues over their collection of treasures, Ricky turned to Bella and said, You know, Bella, I never thought I'd find someone who loves shiny things as much as I do. It takes one to know one, right? Bella laughed her eyes sparkling with joy. Right, Ricky, it really does. And from that day forward, Ricky and Bella became the best of friends, sharing many more adventures and discovering that sometimes the most valuable treasures are the friendships we find along the way. dive into a simple lesson about a very curious phrase. It takes one to know one. Imagine we're on a time traveling adventure to discover the secret of words. Long, long ago, okay, not in dinosaur times, but still pretty old, people started using a funny little saying, it takes one to know one. But what does it even mean? Well, it's like saying only a pancake flipper knows the secrets of a perfect pancake. Or only a mud pie master can truly appreciate a great mud pie. It's a bit like saying, hey, you're one of us, so you understand. Now, let's hop into our imaginary time machine and zoom back to the 1600s. Picture people wearing big, funny hats and fancy dresses. Nope, they weren't using our phrase yet. It took a little longer sailing through time until we land in the 19th century. That's around the 1800s, by the way, when the phrase started to sparkle in conversations. The exact moment it popped up is a bit like trying to catch a slippery fish with your bare hands tricky. But we know for sure people were chuckling and tossing it takes one to know one around by the late 1800s. They used it just like we do today to point out that sometimes you have to be a bit like someone else to really understand them. Imagine another cat looking at another cat stuck in a box and saying, only a box-loving cat like me can understand why you're in there. 
it's silly because of course most cats know the joy of box sitting. That's what makes our phrase so fun. It's about sharing a secret nod or wink, acknowledging that, hey, we're alike. So, next time you and your friend both laugh at the same silly joke or enjoy the same game, remember, it takes one to know one. It's like a secret handshake with words, a way of saying we're part of the same club, the cool kids who get it. And there you have it, a trip through time to uncover the story of It Takes One to Know. Keep your eyes peeled for those moments when you can use this phrase. And maybe, just maybe, you'll start a history lesson of your own. Remember that every word has a story, and now you know one more. Who knows what phrase we'll chase in our next time-traveling word adventure? Well, stay tuned, word explorers. That's it for today. This is Commander Frosty, signing off.